Hey, tell us a little bit about the video we're going to show today. Oh, okay, so we're going to go to Derek's house. We actually did this several months ago. Derek had had some trees cut down. Okay, so this was pre-Grapple, pre-KC, a good while ago. Yeah, this was actually back in September of this year, so several months ago. And he sent us some pictures that showed that he had had three trees cut down. I think they were about 12, 14 foot. Yeah, blue spruces, I think he said. Yeah, and he'd actually had the stump ground already on each one of those trees. So he just thought we needed to come in and till a little bit. Yeah, and it was hard to tell from the pictures really what was going on. Now, having some experience in this, Christy and I realized that really we probably would have some roots to deal with. So we had been discussing how we've always used the tooth bar since we've had it. It does a great job of getting roots out. Absolutely. But several commenters had said, why don't you try uh, using the ripper? Because they didn't have a tooth bar, or maybe they didn't even have a loader. And so we decided we would throw the ripper in and, and try that in this particular project. Yeah. That'll be an interesting thing about this video. Check it out. See how you think the ripper works to get the now, job Derek, done. You, you already did the call before you dig, right? Yeah. Now the flags are not here now, but what did it say? Um, everything was AT&T DOK and then the others were clear. Okay, so, so that, that basically was saying it was all clear. Yeah, we got the okay and I had them do that even before they ground the stumps, so. Yeah, that's a good thing. So we had three trees mm -hmm. and you kind of just want this whole area ready for ready for grass. Ready for something. Yeah. Um, it's it's big, it's, it's not level, it's thick, and there's a lot of root in there. Okay, I have such a keen eye. I began to look through the area where we're gonna till and pull up and I found wires, probably where the trees when they planted them had been wired together for the root bundles. So we're gonna have to make sure we don't get into that with the tiller. That extra three point lift height really helps. One more, don't we? And that little puppy popped all the way out to the side. Wow. Broke him right in half. I didn't think I was pulling near as hard as what we pulled on the... Uh, at our house? At our house the other day. You know what the deal is, though, is that I had it tighter this time. Oh, really? I wonder if it sheared quicker because it was tighter. Probably. So far, this seems like a waste of time have my honest opinion and I wanted to try it because people had recommended it but I am absolutely certain that I can get all this stuff out with the teeth on my I think so too. bucket quicker. camera can see it or not but the the folks, wiring from the tree is back in here folks this is why I say dig out your stumps rather than grind them out I realize I'm the minority here everybody says oh, I'll just have it ground out look at all this that's left and the and the grinders did a fine job I mean there's a little stump left back here but it's it's not a case of the grinder not doing a good job he's not gonna get all this stuff out that's just part of it Wow, 
that tooth bar is amazing. It really is. And, you know, I think it was several different factors. Number one, I was able to guide those teeth in there just, just where I wanted them. And then when I would get a hold of something, I was able to pick it up. And just pull the whole thing out. Yeah. A big old root ball and, and clay and stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I don't know if you noticed, viewers, but what you can see is is that I could take those teeth and I could poke at it a little bit and that clay then would just fall apart. Yeah. And basically leave what was left of the root. And the wire. Yeah. And so it, it worked perfectly. Now, I don't know if we could have got the job done with the ripper if we didn't have the loader. I probably would have been more patient with it. Yeah. But it was certainly hard to, to pick it up, especially with a single tine on the ripper. There was yeah. no way really to, to, to get a hold of it and, and have pulled it out of there. Right, with, yeah. Like it was. Now, Especially I'd, with all the clay that was still in there. I think that was weighing it down, and you'd had to bust it up somehow. Yeah. So, score, tooth bar one. Ripper. I think there's some big stuff down there in front of my pocket. I won't be able to till until we get... This kind of stuff, stuff out, out of here. Mm. And I just keep stirring maybe and I'll keep getting more of it out. This is doing good though, in my opinion. Is this what you were wanting? I had no idea what I wanted. <laughs> this would have been what I would have wanted, let's put it that way. I wanted, yeah, I, I wanted it, you know, basically back to, back to square one. Stressful week at work. <laughs> you know, that's the whole point of this for us. So now the roots are all out. We really have to kind of begin to think about what we're going to have for a finished project here. Yeah, and he really wasn't sure. His ideas kind of changed as we did the project, didn't it? Yeah, they really did. And, you know, we didn't really know what he wanted, and he didn't really know what he wanted. I think you'll find this next segment to be instructive on how the interaction between us and the customer has to work. It's, it's yeah. not always easy to figure out how to solve the problem. Yeah. And Derek was really open to taking our advice and asking us questions and then changing what he thought just he wanted. Enough to make it look decent. Okay, so I have no problem doing that. It's just that if you want me to get the hump out of it, I have to move the dirt somewhere. Do you think, well, do you think even after driving over it and compacting it, you'd still have excess? Well, I wouldn't necessarily recommend me driving over it because uh, in other words, I'm going to tell it again. Okay. Let's get that. Uh, I can t I can do before I do the second tilling. I can take my bucket and I can drag dirt kind of at a you know a, 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 yeah. call it a, a gross level, yeah. right? Yeah. And then I want to leave it tilled like this so that you or me or both of us can take a rake and do exactly what you want with it. And if I drive over it, then it'll be packed too hard to do that. With. Okay, I get it. You see what I mean? I defer to your expertise in this. So. Okay. Um, you tell me what you suggest. You kind of have an idea of what I want. So. Okay. Well. My first thought is we got too much dirt. Okay. And uh, that was because whoever, I mean, they humped it up. There. Right. But we can't push that dirt down into the ditch because that's got to drain. Right. So really the only choice we have is to pull that soil up this way. And that's actually okay because I can use that dirt around the house. Oh, well, if you've got a spot for it, I'll take a shovel. I yeah, no, one, my, one of my inspection issues was that it's sloped toward the sloped house. Toward the house. So I can't you want imagine. me to take a bucket full now somewhere? I mean, if you just want to dump it. Uh, I mean, you can take a moment and look around the front of the house if you want or somewhere. The point is, I, I'm a power wheelbarrow. Right. <laughs> yeah. I can pick up a bucket full and drop it somewhere. You see what I mean? Yeah, I do that and just stick it back here. I'll get the trash cans cleared and okay. I'll just work around the house from here. Okay. Sounds good.
my goodness. What is that? That's a rock. A rock. Huh, a nice rock. So one thing I want you to notice here, this is the uh, Tractor Time with Tim utility marking service. If we look right out there, we can see a bunch of dead grass, and then we can see a bunch of really green grass going right down toward the little the little ditch there. So there's a pipe under there somewhere. Yeah, there's a water there's drain, a yeah. uh, probably a sump pump drain or something coming out right there, basically at the top of that. Given that it's on the neighbor's side of the property line, I suspect it's coming from their house. So that's why I went right up next to it. Okay. Good eye. So that's called Tim 1-1. I would propose that the power equipment is done at this point. I think uh, it looks a lot better than where it was and we can bust out the hand tools and... Well, I, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you had something in mind and I just want to make sure that we're coming as close as we can to that. Hey, yeah. look, you grow, grow hey, pretty good golf balls here. golf ball. <laughs> we'll go in Derek smoke. was just talking about uh, living on a golf course and never going golfing. And other people hitting his house with the golf balls, so there's proof. Yeah. Wow. We've got a bunch of roots out of this. So Derek, uh, are you pleased with this? I am. I think it looks good. I think it's ready for some grass and the rest of your yard just looks beautiful. You assume this will look just like it. Maybe next spring. Hopefully. Well, I think that's about it for this episode. So thanks for watching everybody. Press the thumbs up button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. A guy named Derek called us several months.